Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're talking about Roaming Throne. For four colorless, it's an artifact creature Golem 4-4 with War 2 and as Roaming Throne enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Roaming Throne is the chosen type in addition to its other types, and if a triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. Now this is a pretty sweet card that I totally missed in the spoiler, I was just going through all of the cards from the set, and this one just stood out at me because it's actually a really good card and one that I actually recommend picking up because it's probably not going to be too expensive when the set first comes out, but I do see this as having potential to be more expensive in the future because it's a tribal card that works with all sorts of tribal decks and those tend to be worth something. Now this one in particular is doing something very powerful as well which is doubling triggers. We've got a few cards these days that can double triggers but usually they're very restrictive. So for example we have Clara Oswald that can double Doctor's triggers that came out in the recent Doctor Who set. Another card that this reminds me a lot of is Harmonic Progeny but of course that is only for wizards and shamans. So the fact that this one can go in basically any tribal deck and is going to double all of the triggers of that tribe seems really really powerful. The other thing is that it comes in with Ward 2 that might not seem like much, but having a little bit of resilience to removal is very important in this kind of card, seeing as usually they're going to enable a couple of very big turns or where you might even win the game if you have a combo with this card. And if your opponents are just stuck on mana for that one specific turn, then that can be the difference between winning and losing. So having to pay two extra for any instant speed removal when they might have just left one mana up or two mana up really makes a huge difference and makes it less likely that this is going to just die to something like Swords to Plowshares. Additionally, the stat line on this is not bad at all. A 4 4 for 4 is already pretty decent, and you're not going to complain about that most of the time. And it also is going to benefit from any tribal synergies you have, so obviously it's going to get buffed by any buffing effects, and it's going to count towards the number of permanents you have of that tribe, etc, etc. That is all a great thing to have on a card that basically synergizes with any deck that wants it. The other thing I think is interesting is, again, thinking about this outside of the tribal kind of box. You can put this in any deck where the commander has a powerful triggered ability and thanks to this it's going to trigger twice you just choose the creature type that your commander is and you're going to get to double that trigger over and over obviously you're not getting the most out of this card if that's the case but if you have a commander with a particularly powerful trigger then this can be really strong for some reason i just immediately thought of the new braid triggering braids ability twice at the end step is going to be pretty damaging for your opponents and it seems like a good ability to double up on but there's so many different commanders that you could use this with to get to double dip on their abilities and that I think makes it much more interesting than it might initially seem because otherwise it's just a tribal card and whilst they are very good in certain decks they're still quite narrow of course. The fact that this isn't just buffing but it's instead doubling triggered abilities makes it much more valuable to include in decks where it just works with the commander. So yeah I predict this is going to be one of the staple cards from the set and I would look at picking them up if they are cheap on release. So there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.